What's up, Corey? Long time no see, baby. It's brought to you by Bush Light. It's good if you put lime juice in it. It's not good with that lime juice, but whatever. You might as well just drink water at that point. I'm a lightweight, dude. You know this. That's what I got to say. <clears throat> Local so brewer. Like... Richmond guy. <laughs> nice. Crack that one open. Hey, so what's up with Cruz's bug, man? Did you get that thing going or what? That's been that's been tough, man. Um, it's it's finally done. Um, well, let me take that back. It's on its four wheels now. It's 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 on the ground, um, and we just need to put gas, set the timing, adjust the carbs a little bit. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to do that because we have to take the whole thing off, um, and and just just see what happens. I know the motor works. I I already I already have the motor timed and uh, tuned before. Um, but that's the whole issue. That it, that's where it all started, basically. He called me up, and he was like, yo, you check out my motor. You can wire it for me. So I went over to his house, you know, uh, did all the wiring, and um, got it fired. And it was running. It runs It runs fine. Um, but then when I was like, yo, let's drive it, he was like, I don't think my transmission works. I'm like, dude, you know, like, come on, why, why not? So I looked inside. I thought that the linkage wasn't even hooked up. So I also noticed that the um, the hockey stick that comes out of the the, um, the the transmission, not the hockey stick, sorry, the the, the um, I I'll probably write it down later, but uh, just goes out into the into the tunnel, you know, that goes into into the, into the linkage, um, was just Can like, you like you know, really, yeah, Can, um, yeah. it wasn't on straight, first. it wasn't straight, you know, it was uh it was bent, <laughs> so the two the two pieces weren't lining up you know the gears lever um right shift just wasn't lining up so I, right off the bat i knew something was wrong so i told him hey listen you know what why don't you just bring it over to my house um you know I'll, I'll work on it you know some you know from time to time and we uh he's got a 1600 that i want to i want to convert into a 1776 for for the bus for the westy so he was like you know if you could get it running for me and all that stuff we can do a trade off like let's do it done so, oh, wait, so he's got a – so the, this bug he picked up is a 1960, right? Yeah, yeah, 1960. 1960, next, so – Yeah, yeah. So it's got a swing axle. Yeah, it's got a swing axle. Yep. And, and, but it had a 1776 motor in it? Or he picked um, up the 17 – The 1776. The 1776. It was, it, was, it was an after purchase. It was, it was something else. It didn't come with the motor. Okay. It just had the trans in it. Um, but okay. he slapped it in, you know, just, just like everyone else, you know, he got a new toy and wanted to just slap it in without giving it a, a you know, good overview, you know, make sure everything will be fine. And, uh, he just got to the point where he just got excited, slapped the motor in, and then he couldn't drive it, you know, <laughs> the brakes didn't work. Um, just so many little things that you need to check first. So anyways, right. he brought it here, um, and we dropped the motor, I mean, the transmission and, uh, Right off the bat, I just knew something was off, man. It had this homemade cookie cutter um, adapter that was made for it. And I was like, what the hell is that? So, you know, I I go online, came to find out the 1960 was a one year only where the transmission front mount is, is a one year only piece. Um, if you can find it, the guys are selling it for like 250 to 300 bucks, if you can find it. So it kind of just sat in my garage for almost a month, you know, just like, what do we do? Um, he right. tried to look for it. We tried <laughs> buying parts online. I bought this piece that I thought was, uh, was the adapter. Um, so basically what Volkswagen did was that the, 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 um, the, uh, the, the split case was the one that sits a little higher or lower. I forget what it is. It sits lower, I think, than the normal synchro transmissions. So that's why you need that little adapter piece or whatever to, to go in. So anyways, uh, long story short, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, we basically had to fabricate our own piece. Um, it took a lot of measuring because right. uh, everything needs to line up or else, you know, the, the gear lever just was not going to work. So everything had to just be perfect. And we measured, cut, measured, 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 and finally welded. And... It, it turned out it turned out fine you know i just right. hooked up everything so last is, night uh, i'm not sure if that's showing up on huh? <clears throat> actually this is basically on. what you this is what you built right 
Yep, exactly. I think yep, my yep. light ring is kind of reflecting off the screen, but um <clears throat> so that's the piece right there that you guys manu that you you basically just built from scratch, right? Yeah, pretty much. I it took uh one, two, three, like four different pieces of metal. Um it's gonna it it it's gonna work. Um it's the best second option. Obviously we had the original, you know, we would be able to work something out better, but Right. Yeah, it's gonna work. It it it's he's, it's not a daily driver, and it's gonna be a show show car that he's gonna use on the weekends only, you know. So right. I'm not too worried about you know, whatever. <laughs> but that's pretty exciting. Um, because it was it was if we had everything that day, it would have been done done in a weekend, you know, a couple hours like we had. You know, we could we pulled the motor out, transmission, and we swapped axles. You know, went over all the brakes. Um, change pads, bled brakes, everything was done in one day. Yeah. But when it was time to put the transmission back in, it was like, whoops, dang, you know, so. So that I, motor uh, wasn't in there originally, right? Nah, nah, it wasn't. What did he have, what, what came with that bug that you pulled out? No, nothing. It was. Uh, oh, so it didn't have a motor. He picked up a it, bug without a motor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he, uh, okay. he just towed it. But it had the know. transmission there? It had the transmission. Okay. It had the transmission. Um. And then, like I said, he bought the he bought the uh, the 1776, and just slapped it in, and you know he didn't check right. anything else. So that's why you know right off the bat, I was like, ah, if you would have waited, we didn't have to drop the motor again, and then you know put it back in. But whatever, you live to learn. Yeah. So with your Westie Sweet. though, I know mean, you recently got work done to it. Yeah. Uh, so the Westie man, it's it's back alive, dude. Uh, didn't pass smog back in in February. Um, yeah. and, uh, you know, you and I tried a bunch of things to get it, it, get it running properly. It was, it was idling like crap. Um, wouldn't, wouldn't start without giving it gas, you know, for, you know, good five, six, seven seconds and then holding gas down for almost like a minute. <clears throat> and then it would hold, hold the, um, the idle, but it would just, you know, the, the, the RPM would just, <laughs> just dip and yeah. drop. So mm -hmm. it wasn't stable. Um. So, you know, with trying to replace all the easy stuff first, because everything was original in that motor. It was a rebuilt motor. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure how long ago. Um, but, you know, we tried to replace little things. We tried to replace the out of control valve, um, spark plugs, spark plug wires. Um, you know, I put a new starter in there as well, just because um, it was it was having some some trouble. It was There was some lag with the, with the, with the key turn, you know. So, right, right. put a new starter in there. Um, <clears throat> lots of things just didn't work, you know, so even with a full tune up, it still ran crappy, had no vacuum leaks that we could find. You checked for vacuum leaks, couldn't find anything. So I ended up having to bite the bullet and take it to bus lab. And, uh, you know, <laughs> right when upon pulling up, you know, Marco was like, he's like, dude, you sound like you're running on three cylinders. I'm like, really? He's all, <laughs> he's like, yeah. He's like, I noticed that at, at Synchro Fest back in May, you know, we were, we were at Synchro what? Fest together and, you know, my Westie is the only Westie that doesn't sound like a Westie, like a Vanagon. Uh -huh. And, yeah. uh, man, you know, so he was like, yeah, whenever you're driving, man, I could, he's like, it was just like, like it was, it was sounding like something was wrong. It was louder than it should have been. And right, so, uh, right. so brought it in there. They, uh, they found out I was running on three cylinders. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> so they basically did a little rebuild of, of that, that, that top end. Um, the, it was the, uh, the right, the passenger, passenger side of the motor that they needed to redo mm -hmm. the whole block on that side. So they redid mm -hmm. all that. Um, <clears throat> still was idling funny um running better but idling funny so they had to go do a new idle control valve a uh, new idle control unit um mm -hmm. what else did they have to put in there um there was a couple other things in there that they had to do basically it's an entirely like rebuilt component system of everything that goes along with with it so um and uh after that they got it all timed and and uh was running really good you know before like i said i had to start it and it was, uh, you have to give it gas and then hold it for 30 seconds. And so I go there and they're like, all right, go ahead, turn it on. I'm like, they're like, wait, don't give it gas. I'm like, what, what do you mean don't give it gas? Like I've had this for five years. I have to give it gas. Mm -hmm. Like don't give it gas. So I go, put the key in there, turn it. It starts like a brand new car. I mean, yeah. faster than my, faster than my, you know, Envoy does, which is a new car. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. what the heck? And it just held idle, no gas. And I was like, mm -hmm. wait, what's going on here? And they're like, yeah, you can just get up and drive now. Before I have to wait till it was fully warm you know, yeah. before I could even drive because I would, I would putt, putt. And if I pulled up, stopped at a stoplight, it would stall. Right. So yeah. I was like, wait a minute, I don't have to warm it up anymore. I could just drive it while it's cold. And like, yeah, <laughs> like it's, it's basically a brand new motor. So they're like, yeah, uh, the beauty of fuel injection, baby. 
Dude, yeah, and, you know, and it felt good. I mean, it was it's still slow, you know, it's still a van again, but it was, it was driving really good and everything. And so I went right over to the smog place, took it in for a smog check, and uh, everything looked really good except mm-hmm. for the knocks on the um, when, uh, whenever you went over 25 miles an hour. It mm-hmm. went from being at like six, which is super low, to being at like 2200. And I was like, well, what the hell's going on here? So something was wrong. So it didn't pass smog, right. and I'm like, what the hell? So I called the bus lab. They said, hey, bring it back. We'll check it out. It shouldn't be doing that. They're like, that's really high. Um, we'll check it out one more time and, and, and see what's going on. So, so I went ahead and I drove back to bus lab the next morning. And within like three hours, they're like, hey, dude, it's good. They're like, we, uh, we found a vacuum leak on one of the boots coming out of the bottom of the motor. Um, mm. so that's why we couldn't find it. It was on the bottom. And yeah. they said it was actually on the side they didn't rebuild. But still, I don't know. That's, it, was just, it was just a boot that was loose. So they basically mm. just tightened up the, uh, the, the bootstrap. And um, yeah. I, they said everything's good. We, we ran it on our, you know, they don't have a dyno there, but they have a, um, a little um, uh, air measuring machine or whatever. So they mm-hmm. tested it and they said, it's running clean. They're like, you should be able to pass no right. problem right now. So drove it back there and boom, it passed with flying colors. It passed with better yeah. um, better numbers than my 2003 you know, Envoy and my 2005 PT yeah. Cruiser. It passed with cleaner numbers than that. And I was just like, holy crap. So yeah, I know. That reminds me of pounds. Seriously, yeah. man. So, you that know, now we're in quarantine. Happy. I'm taking it for a couple of drives since. You know, I got my stickers now, so I'm good for two years. Um, yeah. yeah. But, you know, we're locked in quarantine, so we're inside the garage. Uh, it's the new home office with, you know, having to work from home and, and all that <laughs> stuff. And, um, so as soon as this, you know, shelter is done, it's going out. We're going to start driving around, man. So we got some oh, for sure. 66 groups to take, man. Yeah, sure, yeah. I think this is probably like my second time ever sitting back here. I don't ever really come back here. <laughs> it's pretty dope. It's nice it's back there, man. You yeah. need some stickers. You got to get the air cooled industry. Where I got the air cooled? Yeah. Do you remember when? Remember all the stickers up there. had? I do man, the stickers, all the weed stickers, and uh, dude, dude it's bad man. The, the I love the I love boobs sticker was back. I there. love boobs was right there. I can still see the stain actually on there. Yeah, I can see yeah, the stain did. on yeah, there of the I love boob shape for the sticker. That was that was the first thing my wife was like. I love boobs. <laughs> that should have been the only thing you left on there. <laughs> You know, I might uh, I might have kept one around there somewhere. Don't know. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so, man, I, that reminds me too. When I had my MK2, um, it wouldn't pass smog, remember? And I mm-hmm. went through the whole ordeal, got the top end rebuild, and I needed actually all I needed was a cat. I got a new cat, and when it yeah. passed, I was like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That's right. Actually, yeah, the West you got a new cat and a new muffler, yeah. new J pipe, uh-huh. so it's got an all new exhaust system, completely new. So, like, I should be good for years to come now, man. I got 188,000 miles on the body mm-hmm. and basically now a rebuilt motor. So, I should be good for another 100,000. I'm going to knock on that wood right there. Hell, yeah. Do so, it. yeah, everything is done because I got the transmission last year, remember? Mm-hmm. So, the transmission got done last year, brand new uh, rebuilt transmission from Go Westy. Um, I got a new uh, r- uh, cooling system, um, and it's also separated now. So, there, uh, there's an external cooler now um on this van where pr- prior the original um the oil cooler was inside the the uh the radiator some somewhere along the radiator system line the transmission fluid and the radiator all mixed together and that's what happened i had this right, chocolate sludge in there and um <clears throat> so now that's all external so they're two separate systems um mm-hmm. so westy doesn't overheat anymore got it everything is new man there's i mean it's i don't know what i mean the only thing i could replace now is if I wanted to get an air conditioning pump. Because I got AC, I just don't right. use it because I don't have an AC pump. It does blow, I just don't have an AC pump to make it cool air. Um, yeah. I just don't know if I want to throw that in the mix and, and you know, take more mm-hmm. power away from my already, my, what is my 48 horsepower 2.1. That's a 2.1, so it's got enough, you know, juice, but it doesn't have it, climbing It probably speed. has about 90. Yeah, well, I mean, that's kind of went to Pinecrest, you know, where yeah. we broke down yeah. when the distributor broke. Um, <laughs> I, you know what, dude, honestly, Honestly, I, I think we were running on three cylinders back then, dude, and that was last summer. So yeah. I think it's been running on three cylinders for at least a good year, man. That motor's a champ, dude. You, you've been having that issue since for, for a while. That's stalling it. Yeah, yeah. Because when I would when I would go in reverse and turn the steering wheel, exactly. it would die out. So yeah, that, it was that anything. Used to be anytime, a head scratcher for me. See, well, anytime I that's why anytime I put load on the motor running yeah. on three cylinders, it was like. Not enough. It just, it just couldn't take yeah. it. It was too much load on the motor, 
Uh, we were, that's right. We replaced the power steering pump too. Uh, the power yeah. steering switch, uh, not the switch, pump, yeah. but the switch we did replace. Because yeah. um, a lot of people had issues with that. I mean, God, we replaced so many things. But mm-hmm. it all turned out, it was, it's been, I mean, who knows how long it's been around three cylinders. So. <laughs> champ, dude. The truth Carrying all champ this weight, right. you know? Yeah, Damn, yeah. Dude. No, and you so, kill you a lot in your Westie. Less Tressin. We were uh, we well, I'm loaded. camping. I'm, I'm locked and loaded, ready to go. I don't know if you see the uh, the mini bar over here. Look at this. See the mini bar? Oh, that's my favorite part. That's my favorite yeah, part. I got the uh, I got the Tito's ready to go. The little ones. Nice. I got salt, pepper, and steak seasoning. What else I got in here? Got some caserones. Look at that. Woo! You got ready the to go, man. Well? Got some uh, Maker's Mark here. Oh, I'm I'll, I'll play with the, that all day. Yeah, yeah the stuff. There you go. The spice rack is ready to go, man. No, that's that's my first that's my favorite part of your Westy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought, that's let me sit fun. next to that bar. <laughs> you drive. That's a nice <laughs> love, man. I think uh, cool. Westy is a register of house cars. At least mine is. I don't know. Is yours too? I don't know. I'll check and see. Um, I don't know, but I mean, Look at I... me. Were you the one telling me that your your CHP buddy was like, "Oh yeah, it's a house car, so anyone in the back seat, yeah, the driver's actually... not drinking, you're good." Yeah, yeah, because you can have alcohol here because it is a, it's a it's a RV basically. So right, um, you can actually have alcohol as long as it's not open. Even though this one right here, this little this little one right here, yeah, um, I, I just I refill it because it's the perfect size. So I don't want to buy another bottle because they're harder to find these little ones. Uh, it's yeah, not yeah. it's not the shot size. It's yeah. like a betweener size. So here's the shot size, oh, okay. and here's the yeah, tuner. Yeah. So basically, I just take my belt my my handle of Tito's. And I refill yeah. this one because it's, you know, it's just more convenient. Smart. <clears throat> so, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, man. Did just wait to get out of quarantine so I could road trip. Take this bad boy oh, out. That reminds me. If for whatever reason they canceled the Treffin, we're still going to do something. We, we're still going to have to go. Still going. We're doing our own Treffin, man. That's what I'm saying. We're we doing our own. Out. We got some, we got friends. We got enough people that could come. I agree. We've got enough people that can come. We can just do our own, man. We'll advertise it on our own and do our own little ride somewhere, man. You know, mm-hmm. I agree. Hopefully, campgrounds will be back in, back in effect by then. But I mean, that's that would be the only thing holding us back. So, yeah, pretty much. But I mean, we are in Westie, so pretty much anywhere we park it, it's home. <laughs> yeah, it's been like, oh, dude. Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm homeless. This is my house. I'm homeless, man. It's my house. <laughs> that's my it's job. Dude, I gotta live out of here, man. Leave me alone. This is post corona, bro. Like, what do you want me to do, sir? <laughs> Seriously, right? I feel it, man. So, I feel it. I don't know. What about, uh, you heard, uh, you, you actually you texted me today, uh, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt, dude, that, um, that bug, dude. I mean, I don't, I a like lot of people it. have seen that picture. I mean, I yeah. like it. I saw another picture of it that looks really nice. It, it looks lowered for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what happened. It's but on bag. I don't know. A lot of the comments are people like, you know, that's a big window to be such an early year. Like, it, it yeah. just wasn't matching up. So I'm wondering if he had some kind of weird custom build that, you know, they, they took a a later model bug and, mm-hmm. you know, put an earlier deck lid on there and put some earlier teardrop lights on there, you know. Because it, it does look like a later, you know, 68 and up bug body with the big rear window. Mm-hmm. But he's got like Even a, my he's 61 got a had a smaller window. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. So I don't, I don't know, man. I just feel like he got a weird custom job and he just maybe didn't know any better that, you know, it wasn't like, cause it doesn't look original. It's definitely a cow look. Cause he's got the yeah. single windows on the front door. So it's a cow window. Look, he's got tinted windows. I mean, um, those wheels is cow all the way, man. Those wheels are ugly. He, yeah, man. He, I don't, he's, that's why I'm thinking it's, like like a, it, a, it's not a Volkswagen restorer. I don't think. Cause yeah. You know, someone would have been like, nah, dude, you don't put those ugly wheels on. They're not even like fake Porsche, you know, folks or anything. No, they're just they they look I like know um, what they are. as soon as I saw them, they, they remind me of uh like foos wheels, like you know, the stuff you put like on a like yeah. a like like a like a yeah, you know, or yeah, or and, like a uh, one of the the Mercedes things or something. Like, yeah, it just, yeah, it's like it look yeah. right, you know. They don't yeah. they're not Porsche, they're not Volkswagen, they're I don't know what they were, but I don't know. I think it's a I think he got like jobbed on by some just car restore that doesn't know Volkswagens and you know dude like oh I need a deck lid here let's take that one it was from the wrong year probably but yeah it, it just it doesn't match up because it, it's also um he's got uh he's got the deck lid is offset as well so the air yeah, can go yeah, in yeah but yeah. you know I, I don't like that I mean a lot of we've yeah. been advised not to do that because it makes your motor run worse so we don't do that but mm-hmm. but his is also offset so that probably is also what makes that deck lid work on 
you know, maybe that later model car. And then obviously if you're, mm -hmm. if you're reading that whole body and giving it that paint job he had, you can put whatever lights you want on that, on the, on the rear, you know, um, <clears throat> on the, on the car. So I don't know. It just didn't look like an original early bug. It just doesn't. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, you know, basically like it's one of those things where I guess I'm a little biased because I love them all, man. Like I don't care except for super Beatles. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You know, I, I love them all, you know, I don't care if they're rusted. I don't care if they're original. I just want to see them on the road. I love seeing them. I love hearing them, you know, but yeah, when I saw all those comments, people were like, you know, like, just haters, bro. Like, what are you doing? Like, there were, there were you know, a lot, like, lot of haters on there. Like, damn. All right. Mostly about yeah, those but, wheels, man. People didn't like those wheels. <laughs> yeah, the wheels. The wheels, honestly, for me, they they just don't really come off. Well, you know me. I'm always the skilly guy. Like, I I yeah. don't think I'll ever slap any any anything. You know, I love the, the steel the with with the hub. You know, just the original classic steel wheel. That's my look. That's what I like. Uh, yeah. But. If you're going to go that way, you know, there's just so many cool, rare, not rare, but, you know, harder to find, you know, the Porsche, you know, Porsche wheels. Those are really nice. You know, if you can get your hands on one of those, you know, why not? You know, that's pretty cool. But, you know, people were just like, it's too, it's too high. Like, so? It did look high. You know, like, it did look high. But apparently it's on bag. So, you know. Probably. Drop it. Drop but it like it's high. It's anyway. like guy, so I'm okay with that. And I like Chris Pratt, you know, I love yeah, all these I movies, love Chris. cool dude, love funny him. ass dude, you know, um, I love it, I love it. Yeah, man, I, I I don't like the color, though, I will be honest with you, the color is a little bit. That's a weird know. color, weird. Yeah. that's why I think it was, a, it was a weird custom guy that wasn't like a Volkswagen <laughs> restore, just, and not, that's not even a West Coast Customs, like, I think, we, you know, he's right there in SoCal, yeah. West, West Coast Customs, and, and actually, I did see, remember, I, see, I saw a, a bus when I went there, remember that? Uh huh. Remember, I saw Ryan Friedlinghausen there when I went there uh, over the. Oh, yeah. I go there late summer, early fall. Remember, I went down there for that dance thing uh, yep, with my yep. daughter, and uh, we went by West Coast Customs, and he was actually in the shop, um, not filming, just right. in there. They were no, working on some designs, and there was that bus in the background. Yeah. So they do right. do Volkswagens, but I don't think they would have done something like that. Like I think it would have been way cooler. So that's why I, I feel no. like he. I don't know. It's got this like like early '90s kind of vibe to me you know like maybe it was just done a little bit restored back in the day yeah was, i saw that maybe. um the fitch and right show today that king dig it fitch and, mm -hmm. and right mm -hmm. he had a i think it was a 63 it was the first one he ever did for his buddy um and apparently he well he, he was saying that that was the first car he ever touched um, that was his actually it, that was his first car i think no, it wasn't his it was his buddy's it wasn't his? It was okay. Because like, no, I know no, his no, first was, car was a bug. I've seen on the show that he's shown pictures. Yeah, yeah. He's a V-dub guy. Him sure. with his bug back in the day. That's where he learned everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he was doing, um, he was talking about, he restored that with his buddy in his, in his, in his um, driveway, and they sandblasted the thing, and mom was all upset that there was just dust everywhere, you know, just, just guys being guys, man. I do that all the time. I used mm -hmm. to do it to my parents all the time. You know, but, um, yeah, it was a nice little bug, you know, and you could just tell, though, like, it was done, you know, in the in the, in the early 80s, so, or 88, 89, whatever it was, so you could mm -hmm. tell, you know, the restoration was done using that kind of stuff. You know, it's different, you know, you could tell right. sometimes. Yep, yep. Well, ah, what I'll do, uh, tomorrow, um, tomorrow I'll go out and I'll take some pictures of my neighbor. Um, you know, I just moved to this new neighborhood up here, and, uh, there's a guy around the corner and he's got a, he's got four Volkswagen sitting out of his yard. Um, I'll go take a couple right. pictures and I'll show me on here on the next chat. And we could, uh, we could talk about those, man. I haven't shown you them all yet. I think I've shown you like the bug that he has, right, but uh, right. I'll, I'll take some, I'll go take some pictures tomorrow since it's not raining over here finally. And uh, we can talk about that guy and, and then the, the cars he's got because they're pretty sweet. So have you, uh, have you met him yet? I haven't, I haven't seen that door open. I haven't seen the cars worked on. I haven't seen the garage open. All of a sudden, I just seen. Well, no, like all of a sudden, these he's got he he had a bug there, and I know that bug um, from this guy that lived near my old house. There's this Volkswagen guy, Volkswagen Dave, um, I think his name is, um, and uh, he's got nothing but Volkswagens there. And one day I was driving home, and I told you about this. Um, yeah. There was a, a truck there with a with a, a tow dolly, 
and there uh -huh. was a blue bug uh, with a, a rag top, right? And I had seen it in his yard, but he was towing it. But what he did was when he, before he, he was working on it, he, uh, he jacked up and didn't put the back, the wheel back on properly. Like he didn't screw all the lug nuts in from when yeah. he was working on it. And so when he was driving, it came off the car while he was driving it. And so the, car, the, the truck was sitting there and the wheel was off the bug sitting in the middle of the street. And there was like a little kid there about 11 years old. And I went up and I said, hey, what's going on? And he said, oh, well, the, the wheel fell off the car. And my dad drove back up to the house to go get a jack. And so I stayed yeah. there and I helped like defer traffic and everything. And I talked to the guy when he came down and I said, oh, you sold, you sold the car or what? He's like, oh, no, I didn't. Like, it, it was a little weird. And uh, mm. I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, well, cool. So I helped him get the wheel back on. And he drove away. I never saw the bug back at his house again. Then a month later, I moved up here. And then while I was on a walk with my daughter around the corner, there goes that bug. So he did sell it. I don't know why he didn't tell me he sold it. I, yeah. I don't know why, he, whatever. So anyways, there was that bug there and that was early March, right? The one bug. Yeah. Since then there's been a type 34 Gia, a bus appeared all of a sudden out of nowhere, um, Bay window. And then yeah. now a convertible Carmen Gia appeared last week. So in the matter, so while we're going into this quarantine crisis, this dude yeah. just bought four bugs or four Volkswagens. I've so. seen some deals, man. Like, you know, I, I, and I get it, you I'm know. I'm not seeing them. I've been looking, man, because I need to get me. I'm settled in that new house, man. I need I need an air cooled again. I haven't seen I've no deal. I've sent you, I've sent you stuff, though. I got Check no money, out. bro. Ah, there you go. $3,000 yeah, or less. I, let me show you. I think. Uh, I got no job no more, man. None of us have jobs anymore. I'm, yeah, tell me about it. Let me see if this works, though. Because this is how I would have already gone knocking to your neighbor's house. Like, who are you? Where are you get all your Volkswagens? Let me see if this works. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just waiting. Well, I'm waiting for that garage door to be open, so that'll be my opportunity. So, are you trying to share? Yeah. Can you see it? I can see it. There you go. I, that's how I would have showed up to your neighbor's house and been like, "Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, open up! I need to know Hi. what the fuck I can." <laughs> I need, a, I, need right I need my Volkswagen yo, badge. Please exactly. Help me. All my pins, like, yo, open up. I need to talk to you. <laughs> That's funny. We yeah. just watched that the other night, man. That movie's so sad. So sad, is but it? so good. Yeah. Why are you searching up? What is the Holocaust? And why does he appear for the Holocaust? The Holocaust? Hey, I see that song you're listening to. Duran Jones? Hey. Hey, you like that? I saw that. I saw that. Where is it? Oldie but goodie but newy. Play a little, yeah, exactly. play a little bit of that oh, real fast. Play a little bit. Guys, so there's this there's this artist we found on YouTube uh, while at work, uh Duran Jones and the I forget what they're called. The 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 indications, that's right. And um God, he's you got some it? good songs there. I'm not hearing it. You can hear it? Oh, I don't think you can hear it. No, uh, maybe can you turn it in? Can you turn it up on your just your 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 headphones can hear it. Pick it up or no? I don't think so. Let me see. Anyways, check him out, man. He's a it, it's it's a he's a new artist. Um, you know, I could find songs going back to 2016, but God, they sound like oldies. You know, from from the from the the old days, man. They're great. So, really cool. I love it. The first the, yeah. I remember walking into the office and you were like, "Yo, Caesar, check this out." I was like, "What?" I said, "As you press play, I, I just I just heard it." I was Ooh. like, "Oh yeah." Oh yeah. yeah good I remember stuff. right off the bat I told you this sounds new though. Let me see if I can find sounds it just good. to give a little sample. Duran Jones, if you were uh in town and you see this, we fans, right? let us know. <laughs> Big time. Here we go. That picking it up? I hear it. Good stuff. Driving your western. Oh, it's cruising, man. It's cruising. Yeah. Summer nights, windows down, yeah. California sun. Thank you, coronavirus. Thank you, coronavirus. Just chill. Let's see that. Just chill. Yeah, it's good stuff. 
We got another one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Some old school vibe. There's a, let's go check that out. The name. It's just good, good old school stuff, guys. Yep, I agree, man. Man, so yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't really have much uh, much to work on since I don't have a Volkswagen right here to to play with anymore. I'm working on something. Um, I got a little something on my sleeve I'm working on. So I don't want to say anything because I don't want to jinx it, but but I'm, I got <laughs> something I'm working on. So I just gotta well, gotta make it happen. When so, you do get it, you know I'm your guy. I'll start wrenching on it. Right. Uh, yeah. Exactly. You gotta be a a necessity worker and mechanic, right? That's right. <laughs> gotta be an essential. <laughs> Guys, whenever we uh, whenever we uh, we talk, whenever I ask Siri to call Caesar, um, <laughs> she hold on. So I got the uh, this is his little guy. Uh, you're not gonna see it. Let's see. Hold on, let me find it. Um, she says, uh, "Calling Caesar Garcia, man mechanic with light with medium skin tone, because he's cut. Yeah. He's a brown guy, and he's the uh, little mechanic emoji on." on on your on your <laughs> iphone so he used this guy the there little it is. brown mechanic guy so siri always I'm, calls him i'm trying to grow I'm, a mustache no you're not a big boy yet you haven't grown up yet Aww. pretty soon you'll hit puberty and you'll start getting a little fuzz there man i actually trimmed mine today it was too That's long cool. it was getting a little grizzly so uh, yeah you got a little, little like it's like that's like trying. yeah it's like gooch hair right there i've know? been trying for 32 years it's dingleberries. <laughs> but, uh, Whatever. I shave money on razors. <laughs> right? Every morning before work, I just take my electric shaver and go, vroom, 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 and I'm off the door. <laughs> That's it, huh? That's it. Man. That's all, man. man uh, time to grow up. I like your shirt, too, though. I just, I just kind of saw it a little bit. I can't, I can't see because I got the the ring light there, so I can't even see myself in the thing. But That's all good. The old school West Folia shirt. See the one yeah, I'm wearing. I got it on Amazon. Old Smoky Moonshine. I got you that in Tennessee. Yeah, I got the thirty-two Ford. Oh. That's some real moonshine right there, man. Yeah. yeah. yeah I think That's it's the like the only. Me. I think it's the only legal moonshine store in Tennessee. Uh, really? They had all kinds of different flavored flavored moonshines and and. Um, the cool thing I saw was moonshine and flavored pickles, different yeah. ones. So they're, they're, you know, pickles, but they were in moonshine. So I can only imagine how crazy that'd be getting drunk off of a pickle. <laughs> Are you drunk? I just ate a pickle. Huh? I didn't what? have any drink. Just two pickles. <laughs> just two pickles, Seriously. bro. <laughs> right? Right on, man. If, um, next time, I, if I go back, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to try to get some of those home. I was just worried about taking them on the airplane, you know, with a, Moonshine pickles, like what the hell? So I was worried about. I might have to just ship them home or something. I didn't know. Okay. To, you know I caught up with the, with the FAA with my my moonshine pickles. I watch that well, TV show that all the time, moonshiners. So I don't want to get busted, man. No, I feel you, man. Like five years ago, when I went to when I started working at at, at our company, um, they sent me out for training. I went to uh, St. Louis, and uh, they gave us an option. Well, actually, there was really just one option: just go downtown because the the Cardinals were out. Um, they were playing away games, so we go downtown, and there's just breweries everywhere. So I bring this little growler with me, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to bring that back. I, you know, my wife likes beer. <clears throat> so I got back to the hotel, and you know how they have, like, some, like, uh, like garbage bags, extra garbage bags and towels? Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't really think about what I was doing until I got to the plane. But anyways, um, I wrap it in plastic. I grab one of those towels, and I wrap it. And I stick it in my bag. And as I'm sitting in my seat, you know, ready to take off, I'm like, damn, I make that shit look like a bomb. Dude. <laughs> I was yeah. like, I hope they don't come grab me. But no, it, it flew and it, it arrived. <laughs> it leaked a little bit, but, uh, you know, it was cool. Um, Man, St. Louis brew out here. It was nice. There we go. Nice. It happened. Yep, yep. Yeah. Well, man. All right. Well, let's uh, let's chat tomorrow, man. Yeah, I think we should chat uh, chat tomorrow. Um, and I'll put this up so our uh, our, our guys can see it. There we go, man. Yep. Right. We got so we got plenty of stuff to talk about, man. And being in this quarantine, so just keep in touch. I agree. And 
crazy. And we can't be hanging out. All the car shows are gone. We'll talk about that tomorrow, man. All the car shows. Seriously. I still got to work on a few things. I got I got a front strut and rear struts to replace on Westy. So I can I can do that mm-hmm. and talk about that. Um, I got to do the oil change. I got to do that, too. So, yeah, man. Let's uh, let's chop it up. Uh, let's talk about him. Yeah, exactly. Let's talk. Oh, I got to talk to you about my impact wrench. That's my baby okay, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Your big tool. I know. Uh, your big oh, tool I you're excited pneumatic, about. Man. I win you, Matt. Yeah. I do not want to go back. But there we go. You will feel you will feel that power. You're gonna be like, oh yeah. Feel the power. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Cool. Well, man, it was nice chatting. All right, brother. Definitely nice to. Yeah, uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow, man. Leave that. All right, sounds good, dude. And everyone who's watching, thank you so much. And we'll get some more of these out for you guys. Appreciate it. Much love. Later, guys.